Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So OnePlus is rolling out a new update of ColorOS 13, which is again for the open beta channel. In past, we have seen OnePlus have rolled out first open beta, and I think this is the second or third open beta for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro based on ColorOS 13. So in this video, let's take a look at what all changes OnePlus have done with this newer update of ColorOS 13. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 9 on which I've already installed this build. Let me show you the software information. As you can see here, it says ColorOS 13, but I don't know guys why it is showing alpha version. If you guys have seen our previous video, there it was showing beta build. If you go to Android version, Android version is 13, which comes with 5th September 2022 security patch and version is F.10. First talking about the benchmark testing. So we have done benchmark testing using Geekbench application and to and later we have also performed CPU throttling test and all these tests are performed using high performance mode where you can see single core have scored 1105 and multi core have scored 3240. With Antutu benchmark application, my OnePlus 9 have scored 7,94,760 but on previous build scores were 7,88,063 and that was also done in high performance mode. So better results to be seen here with the newer update of ColorOS 13. And also we did not notice any kind of throttling issues, maximum CPU throttled up to 88% and there were no major dips to be seen in the graph. And if you guys wish to install ColorOS 13, then in the description, I have mentioned the complete guide on how to install ColorOS 13 on your OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. Basically, this update brings few fixes over the previous build. There are no new add-ons done. Uh, though I have found out one change, but I'm not sure whether that was present on the previous build or not. If you see the change logs here, they have mentioned change logs related to system and camera application. With the first change log, they have fixed the abnormal display of lock screen time and location. So particularly, I never found out any kind of issues on the lock screen related to time or location on the previous build. But if you guys have observed, then do let me know in the comment section below. And later they have fixed some display issues issues in the quick sitting tiles or you can say control panel. If you see here, there are no issues to be seen and as I told you guys, I did observe one new thing. So whenever you swipe down the notification panel or the quick setting tile, before we only used to see the quick setting tiles and the notification and after the complete swipe down, we only used to have the access of quick setting tiles but now they have added a new toggle under the quick setting tiles which says my devices. So from here you can also add smart devices which are present at your place though it's a good add-on. Later they also fix wherein on previous update camera used to take abnormal pictures while using the camera application in full screen mode. But right now if you see I don't find any kind of issues clicking pictures in full screen mode. Though some users might have reported this issue but this has been taken care by OnePlus. And on previous build related to camera application, we were not able to drag these shooting modes in the more section. But now that has been fixed and I was waiting for this to get fixed. I wasn't sure whether this was fixed on the previous build, which was I guess second beta because I wasn't able to test that build. But now with third beta, you can easily arrange all these shooting modes just by dragging which wasn't happening with the initial build of ColorOS 13. And guys, we still haven't done the review of Oxygen OS 13 Open Beta 1. There are a lot of things going around here in my family, but I'll try to finish that review video as soon as possible. Hopefully by day after tomorrow, I'll come up with the in-depth review of Oxygen OS 13 first Open Beta. But now after this update, ColorOS feels more refined. And till now, I haven't encountered any kind of major issues or not even minor. Device seems to be doing really great with this newer build. So guys, this was a quick look on the latest build of ColorOS 13 for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. If you still have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.